Good afternoon and welcome to Grand Park in Westfield, Indiana. I'm Harrison Silcox, joined by Kelsey Sparks for the second game of the Indianapolis Alley Cat season. And their opponent tonight, the Atlanta Hustle, a team they've had trouble with in the past. Kelsey, what can our viewers tonight expect from tonight's match? Atlanta Hustle is 3-0 and all time against the Indianapolis Alley Cats. So Alley Cats are looking to change that tonight, get their first win against this. It's back with Nab. Alley Cat's not always having a mark on the player with that disc with this zone setup as now getting some yardage is Atlanta on a hammer throw to get the scoring started. They'll do just that. Jeremy Langdon. Hoppy with the disc. Right back to Brock. Seen a lot of those short passes that we saw last week against Detroit Kelsey. Well, this time it's going to be a hammer throw though. Deep to Hoppy and he's there for the score. Last week. Several completions, a few scores, and an assist as well as the Alley Cats being pushed further beyond the end zone. Now they're working it back forward. Betch getting the disc. It's up in the air and up for grabs in the Alley Cats, grabbing their first lead of the night. This O-line here is pretty much the same one that Atlanta's been rolling with all quarter as Lay finding room in the near side again. Long outside in, into the deep corner of the end zone, and Atlanta answers right back. Trip, Cali, uh, Trip Crowley, pardon me, in the Hucks tonight in the early going compared to last week against Detroit. As McClamrock has it here, first opportunity on the break tonight. Burnett downfield, and it is a break point for Atlanta. Dean Ramsey. Actually, it won't. The D was caught by Indianapolis. They'll carry it to the front of the goal line. A chance for the second break point of the night for the Alley Cats. Nick Hutton going for it all. And he'll get it. So that is the one win on the season for Atlanta. Mentioned they've played the best team in the league twice and lost both those games as Carolina is going to be a tough match, and they're going to try to answer right back with another huck down field, and it's Ryan Flick. Opportunities. Last week, it took them a few quarters before they really got that down. This week, they've done a better job. But now they're in some trouble here. Chance on the break for Atlanta. McClamrock. Works it around to Kobira, and he goes to the end zone. Awkward catch there, but it's kept alive by Nick Hutton. And that time we're going to have a D. That's forced to the turf by McClamrock. Levi Jacobs late in the stall count. Tried to go back to Brock, and a fantastic layout D from Burnett. Bookends for Burnett. Bookends and the break. And the Hustle have done a great job pinning the Alley Cats back in their own end zone. We're in Callahan territory right now. As Payne high in the stall count downfield, it's tracked by Havy, somehow came down with it. Kenneth back to Havy. Beautiful read. And that is a fantastic possession from the Alley Cats. The Hustle offense looked a little bit nervous early on on the road, but they have put a stop to that. We're going long. Nab downfield, Holsmeyer there for the catch. Up to Kenneth again. Nice layout from Havy. But an awkward pass to Brock. And now on the hook for Atlanta, it's a break point. But a lot of this line seems to come in after a first break. As Betch has a step downfield. Nice catch. And he'll go for the assist as well. Gudeman from one layout to another. The Alley Cats find a way to get it done. High powered point there. Crazy grab right into another one. Nick Betch and Seth Gudeman getting it done for their team. Carpenter's on a run. It's not there for Branson on the throw. He gets it back to Brock. Back with Branson under 10 seconds. Now it's Kenev deep. Will it stay in? 
It's deflected out of play. Been on a lot of these O-line possessions. It was Fairley who was there for the D, but the Alley Cats firing. So Landry in there for the D. And this O-line gets their third chance to hold on this point. Now Thatcher on the hook, Hawkins on the chase, nobody near him. And that is a gritty O-line point for Indianapolis. Some patience here from Atlanta this time around. Sally Cats trying to get more aggressive to force a turnover, and they'll get one there. Hutton out of some pressure, throws forward. Jacobs going downfield, Gudeman on the chase. And that is great hustle from McClamrock. McClamrock swings out to Sinchins. Now back to McClamrock. Hustle in no hurry here as the clock is very much their friend. Content to swing it back and forth. It was six and a half left in the fourth quarter. McClamrock now going toward the end zone. And what a sky. Dean Ramsey with the leap. Payne and the hammer to the end zone. And that'll be a goal for the Alley Cats. It's Hawkins, his second of the night. So new looks for Indianapolis, and they can build on this going forwards. Hammer throw out to Taylor, it's contested. Hutton's there. Deflection. Great and defensive Hutton. play by Nick Hutton. Deflection. Cameron Brock goes to the gym to give him an edge. Yeah, he puts in the work, it's clearly paid off. I believe it's 620 goals on the career. If this disc goes far enough and he can get underneath it, it might be 621, but that time, and it's a turnover as Burnett was in coverage. And Wurzel and he play pass and catch as Flick throws it ahead. Langdon looking downfield. Holsmeyer's down there. He's got Payne for some competition. And Holsmeyer comes down with this guy. I mentioned still early in the season for both these teams really, but especially the Alley Cats since they didn't start playing until week three. It's week four, they've only played two games. As the quarter will expire, we are officially into the post game now. Your final score, 25 to 18. Alley Cats getting the victory.